any abnormal swelling on the surface of the body is called as a lump. It may be just accumulation of the normal fat in excessive amount at a localized area. It may be some growth of the skin or some tissue of the, of the skin or the subcutaneous fat or maybe some excessive growth of the glands, whether it is the sebaceous glands, fat glands, or the glands in the breast or the thyroid. So commonly people have the lipomas, which are the localized swelling of the fat. They are easy to be removed and uh, improve the cosmetic appearance. Other lumps are in connection with the corresponding glands. Like if we have the sebum gland infection, we develop the sebaceous cyst, there is a swelling, pain, tenderness, and if it bursts out, then there is a discharge. There may be some neurofibromatous which are excessive growth of the nerve ending or some keloid formation because of the previous injury needle pricks. All these things need to be confirmed before operation by the FNAC and the radiological tests like ultrasound or CT and the treatment is removal. Especially for the scars or the keloid, the lasers are little better cosmetic. Otherwise, mostly they require removal. Nowadays, for the cosmetic purpose, we use the absorbable subcutaneous or subcuticular suture. So the scar is better, neater and thinner. We subcuticular and absorbable, we routinely use in all the lumps until and unless it is infected. In presence of the infection or the pus, we don't use the absorbable, then we use the normal non-absorbable nylon or silk suture. Because in the presence of the pus or the infection, the healing is very delayed. And before the wound heals, the absorbable sutures will be dissolved. Some patients have a genetic or family predisposition to develop the lipoma or the breast lump where there is heredity tendency from the genetic point of view. Otherwise, it doesn't make any difference except the genetic predisposition in the breast lump and the lipoma. Almost all the females of reproductive age group, they should carefully examine their breasts at a regular interval. And if they notice any lump, should consult a doctor, get a routine ultrasound or the mammography done. Removal of the small benign lump doesn't affect the lactation, but if it is a large benign tumor or the phyloid sort of the thing, it will change the shape of the breast and uh, some lactiferous ducts are also damaged, so it will affect the lactation in the later stage.